Hi students, welcome to the Vivid Brains. We are today we are observing applications of derivatives, okay, p by q's. In that, the question goes like this: A spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of thirty five thirty five cc per minute. The rate of increase in the surface area in centimeter square per minute of the balloon. When its diameter is fourteen centimeters, is here we can observe that the spherical balloon. So, what is our solid here? The solid is in the shape of a sphere, right? Yes. So it is a solid. Okay. This is going to be our sphere, right? Okay. Now the spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of. So it is going to inflate at the rate of thirty-five. Cc per minute. Okay, so what is this? Can we say thirty-five cc means what? It is nothing but volume, right? So volume per vol. We are saying with respect to the vol. With respect to the time, we are saying about the volume, right? That means this is nothing but dv by dt, right? There is a change in volume with respect to the time. So can we call that as dv by dt? Yes, dv by dt is equal to thirty-five cc per minute. Okay, this is given. Next, the rate of increase in the surface area. So they are asking the rate of increase, either increase or decrease. What do you call? That is a change. We can say, okay, the change, change with respect to the. They are asking about with respect to the rate. Rate always means what? With respect to time, it is it is going on changing. So which is changing? Surface area is changing. Surface area means yes, right? Generally we do not we denote with the letter yes. Okay. The surface there is a small change in surface area that is nothing but ds. Can I call that as ds? Yes, very good. And then the rate of increase in surface area. The rate rate is nothing but it is with respect to the time, right? So a small change, a small change in surface area, a, with respect to the small change in time. So how do we call that? Can be called as ds by dt, right? Small change in a small change in surface area with with respect to the time is ds by dt. Okay. So ds by dt, they are asking that ds by dt is how much when the diameter is going to be. The diameter is fourteen centimeters. If the diameter is fourteen centimeters of this sphere, then what will be the surface area? The surface area rate of change of surface area with respect to, or I can say, change in surface area with respect to time. When you call rate, we should not talk about area or time. Sorry. Okay. Yes. So dv by dt is given as thirty-five cc per minute. Okay. Yes. So what is this v? V is nothing but here. No doubt it is volume, right? Cc. Yes. So what is the volume of a sphere? We know volume of sphere is is how much? What is the formula otherwise? Yeah, it is going to be four by three pi r cube, right? Four by three pi r cube is volume of the sphere. So can I call this as v? Yes. V is equal to four upon three pi r cube. Okay, all right. Then here they had given dv by dt, right? Not a, a v. Okay. So can you find? Can we find dv by dt? Yes. So we are differentiating v with respect to t. This is very important. With respect to time, we are observing the value of volume change. The change in volume with respect to time we are observing. Okay, so dv by dt is going to be four by three pi into. So what is r cube? R cube is uh, how to differentiate r cube? R is a variable, right? So constants we have to keep like that, and then we are differentiating the r cube. Three r square into dr by dt. Okay, yes. So we observe now here dv by dt is given as thirty five. I am substituting that four by three pi. So can I cancel this one? 
so that it becomes easy here yeah. so 4 by 3 3 3 cancel so 4 pi r square into dr by dt okay here yeah. so we got 4 pi r square into dr by dt so what is dr by dt then i can write dr by dt is equal to 35 by 4 pi r square okay got it yes what do we want actually with respect to the question we want ds by dt right so first let us observe what is s s is nothing but our surface area right surface area of sphere i am going like this okay what is surface area of sphere so, so the surface area of sphere the surface area of sphere is equal to s is equal to what we know surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square yes yes so then how do we write this because we want ds by dt can i differentiate with respect to time this one okay yes so ds by dt i am differentiating surface area yes with respect to t what do we get ds by dt is equal to 4 pi into 2r into dr by dt okay 2r into dr by dt okay ah, now what do we do then tell me so dr by dt so it is how much 8 pi 8 pi r into dr by dt okay very good so here we got dr by dt is 35 by 4 pi r square okay and or because we they gave diameter so you write here diameter is given diameter is equal to 14 centimeters and then radius is going to be d is equal to r by 2 that is 14 by 2 which is 7 centimeters 7 centimeters okay yes so now what I am doing because we got dr by dt. Can I substitute here? Yes, very good. Let, uh, let me substitute. 8 into pi into. So r is here 14. Sorry, r is 7, right? The diameter is 14. Into 7 into what is dr by dt? 35 by 4 pi r square. 35 by 4 pi into r square is radius you know this here also 7 square okay 7 and this cancel so 4 1 time 4 2 times 5 pi cancel and then 7 1 7 is left here 7 5 times so how much we are getting we are getting 10 centimeters okay so what is the value of ds by dt ds by dt is equal to 10 centimeters okay so this is a rate of that is what they asked rate of increase in the surface area okay the rate of increase increase in surface area in surface area okay rate of increase in surface area in centimeter square per minute okay per minute what is the condition here when diameter of the balloon is 14 that is important okay when d is equal to 14 centimeters which is equal to how much it is 10 centimeters okay so what we have to do whenever you have this kind of questions first you observe what is the uh, is it rate rate of whenever you see the rate then it is going to be our it is the quantity is changing with respect to time okay so that quantity which quantity here the spherical balloon is inflated inflated means no doubt it is volume right inflated at the rate of 35 cc you can observe this one also by observing this also by observing the units you can say that uh, what what type of quantity it is right okay cc that is centimeter cube so it is nothing but our volume but you should uh, but you must know all the 
solid figure formula okay like sphere okay cone cylinder all the formula you must know. then it will be very easy this kind of question okay and also one more important point the rate of increase in surface area increase in surface area that means a small change in area that is the meaning a small change in surface area can be called as we can call that as ds by dt surface surface area is 4 pi r square okay small change in surface area is ds by dt okay 4 pi into so whenever you and one more important point here you see r square no r square means if you differentiate r square you are getting 2r into dr by dt okay so this uh, this uh, writing of this dr by dt is very important why because uh, generally what do we do y is equal to f of x right right so y is equal to 2x when i differentiate it what do you do generally dy by dx is equal to 2 you are writing we are not writing any kind of d dx by something why because with respect to x only we are differentiating and the function is also in terms of x it is it is a function of x okay and also we are differentiating with respect to x but here the function is in terms of r are you observing s is equal to 4 pi r square the function is in terms of r but we are differentiating with respect to t that is important we are differentiating with respect to t so the function here is in terms of r and that we are differentiating with respect to t other variable okay other in terms of other variable so we will get whenever you have this kind of situation definitely you will get the differentiation form okay that is dr by dt not only for this any kind of thing okay you will get like this but the function here the function is x and we are differentiating with the same function we are not writing any kind of difference here okay that is the difference uh, here you have to remember these are the points you have to remember and also when its diameter is 14 centimeters that a condition also you have to observe okay the after uh, observing the condition you have to go with the question sometimes they may give the different condition here okay when the ray, that is uh, when dr by dt is equal to that is uh, change of radius with respect to time is so and so like that if it is given then you have to calculate the value of dr by dt okay and then you substitute it that okay that kind of uh, according to the condition you have to go okay very good thank you please like share and subscribe